order to change the game, you have to show the people something they've never seen. Make them feel something they've never felt. And do it in a way that's never been done. Well, the game's about to change. We got the two <laughs> ball brothers here live. Yes, and I'm your rocket DJ, <laughs> giving you weather, sports, and more. Yo, I used to, I miss those dudes, man. I don't think they have those type of people anymore. <laughs> Thank God. Like. You didn't like them? <laughs> well, I'm Wolfman Jack. Wolfman Howlin' Man Jack. <laughs> yeah, man. Those we, dudes was pretty cool, though. Actually. Yeah, it was always pretty dope. Like, I know growing up, we would definitely wanted to hear our hits, but it was something like, something about somebody who brought the hits in like they did. You know what I mean? So, I, I love that. So, 93.9. Nine, chilling on the smooth, especially when it was midnight. Oh yeah, them all the ladies, the dude with the Z boys, yeah. all the ladies, <laughs> come on out and support. <laughs> I forgot we had a brother out here, and then like he was, uh, what was his name? He was like on ninety two point three back in the days. It was, um, oh man, I might have to look him up. I, yeah, I yeah, suck at that. but he was yeah. dope. But we found then we found out he was like Asian. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, it was. He's still, uh, uh, He's what um he was a young dude, right? Young dude at the time. And he was on um Jamie Foxx's show one time. He was like the DJ and everybody thought he was black. Yeah, yeah. But he yeah, ended up being like, like the an Asian dude or yeah, yeah. Like that. What but, is his name? I, yeah, I forgot, man. But he somebody just somebody just talked about it because they were like, Remember he was on the Jamie Foxx show one time? Yeah, 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 and we yeah. thought he was black. I was like, I <laughs> I ain't from Cali, so I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, everybody did when he was uh, on the radio. That's funny, man. Yeah, man. But listen, two ball brothers, man, sponsored by Black. Brew. And you know, once again, we keep we have to keep shouting out that they have a new location oh, yes. in Orange County, correct? Yes, Irvine, California. Irvine, mm. California. Y'all should go check it out. We Please. need to get the address so we can stop by yeah, real man. quick and check out what they got at Black Brew. Is it just Black Brew coffee or they sell other things? Well, they sell merch, they sell coffee, mm. um, and then they obviously food. They, oh, I think they do. I think they have food as well. Okay. Yeah, I think they have food as man, well. I'm we not gonna, 100% sure though. We definitely gonna have to check it out because. I'm down. I just I'm don't. Down. I don't. Four flat tires. I just don't do coffee. But if they have something else, <laughs> oh yeah, they got still. They got. You know, you can get still get like lemonade and all that type of. Oh, stuff. Oh, you can. Yeah, yeah. They got all kind of drinks, bro. It's oh, like it, 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 it's like Starbucks, but a little darker. Oh, it's, it's in Irvine. Yeah, this was in Irvine. Okay, I'm gonna try to look it up real quick while we on it. Okay. And see. Oh yeah, hold on. Irvine, California, popped up. Popped up. Black baby, brew. Baby. Oh yeah, they uh, is it black label? No, I just posted it on my ground. But, okay, um, uh, I, but got, we'll, I got we'll, the address right here. We'll check it out. But I, we'll I definitely. Check it out. Oh, it's in Irvine Spectrum. Yeah. Okay, it's fancy. They balling. It, hey, anytime you in Irvine Spectrum, if you've never been to Irvine Spectrum, Man, it spectrum is, is popping. The Ritzy. We were, just, we were just there like two weeks ago. I know y'all always there because y'all got bread. Well, no, you know, God, God got the money. Jay got eight cars. <laughs> He got a swimming pool in the back. <laughs> Shh, don't give him my address. Bro. Right. Don't give him the address because he got a whole bunch of stuff in there. <laughs> so listen, hey, we jumping right into the podcast of all podcasts. We jumping oh, yeah. into what's going on man. with celebrities, man. Yeah, man. Celebrity buzz today, man. We got, I think we're just going to jump right into it, man. We got a, uh, you know, I, I, I feel I, sometimes, you know, you got to, you, honestly, you do got to watch what you say. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sure. You know, because a lot of people, I mean, I saw a good post. Well, I'll tell you who we're talking about. We're talking about Young Thung. Young Thung. <laughs> young Thung. That Thung. 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 <laughs> young Thug. Young Thug. Young. And uh, Gunner. And Gunner. So they got caught up on an indictment uh, charges. Of if you don't know, they're like rappers, yeah, singers, yeah. you know, entertainers. Entertainers. Big in the game right now. Yeah. They, with the, the the name of the clique is called the YSL Click. I don't know what it stands for, but yeah. um, so they got caught up, man. And, and um, so they got an indictment. It seems like the government's been kind of like watching them a little bit. And um, and some of their lyrics is coming back to home. Coming back to, I think, I think they're charged with 50 counts of, of murder or something yeah, like that. Yeah. Man. The, when I was looking at the... Uh, the uh, thing, yes, over fifty murders and wow. instances of gun violence among various gangs. So they got tons of tons of charges. And I, what I heard too, just recently, they tried to actually bail them out, and they was like, "Nah, yeah, you they got try to get all you got all these charges that oh, you yeah. ain't going nowhere." Yeah, they called them a flight risk. Actually. Yeah, for sure, because you know where they you know where they're going. <laughs> Right, Nigeria, Montego Bay, whoever. You will they, not know who I am. I am from Nigeria. My no longer his name is Young Thug. My yeah. name is Kuku. Yeah, bro. I'm, <laughs> that's exactly what's going to happen. <laughs> so my thing is, 
<laughs> these young dudes, man, they have to be careful. But it, it's, it goes back to our generation, too. Oh, yeah. A lot of the rappers were, back in the day were talking about drugs and selling and right, guns right, 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 and, right, right, right. and whatever. But and I the, think it's now catching the, up. And forget the police. And for, right. Yeah, forget the police. That's how we... <laughs> and I used to sell drugs. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, right. So I think what's happening is it's starting to catch up to them. Yeah. Because you're almost kind of incriminating who you are. So Correct. you're pretty much saying like, you know, I got the gun. I got I got the drugs. It's in right, my house. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Give my address. It was a t- it, it was a tweet from, I think it was Ice-T. Ice-T said, yeah. it's easy. Oh, you yep. saw that one. Yep. It's yep. easy to um, 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 convince people that you're a thug, but it's, it's very hard to convince the feds that you're not a thug. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and you know the feds be looking out for us oh, bro, all bro. day, every day. That's, yeah. I mean, they're looking for somebody who's black, somebody Man. who has, you know, some type of clout or yeah. whatever. So they definitely looking for us. So, you yeah. know. You got to be, here's the thing, man. We super flashy sometimes. We are. You remember the movie with uh, American Gangster and, he, and um, Denzel oh, Washington yeah. said, hey, don't be flashy. Don't be the guy in the club that everybody's looking for. And, and here he come in the, in, in the he heavyweight the fight on, right. with the mink on with because the, the girl was like, that's a nice kill. Yeah, try this hat on. Try that on. You look superb. But we but, do. We kind of we kind of bring a lot of noise to who we are, and it backfires. You right. know what I'm saying? So, I mean, you know, at the end of the day, you ain't got to wear all the chains. You ain't got to have Lamborghinis. Mm-hmm. I mean... To, to each his own. To if you want to have it on, but you just got to have sure. your paperwork right. You got to have your paperwork right. And you can't be. I'm not saying that. It's, it's, this is all allegations, by the way. Yeah, for <clears> sure. So you know, they're, they're, to me, they're they're innocent till proven guilty. That's Man, how I but do it. 50, 50 counts, though. Yeah, that's a tough. That's tough. That's bro. a lot. But see, here's the thing. Remember, you got to be able to prove. Be on a uh uh um what you got to be able to prove 100. Mm-hmm. percent that they not only did they do it, but they had ten- intentionally uh, wanted to do yeah. it as well. So um, that's going to be tough. I don't think it's going to be a slam dunk. But I think the thing that's going to be really tough is if you're indicting all these people, somebody might say something. Somebody snitching. Somebody snitching. Somebody. I'm not I smell sure. somebody ratatouille. <laughs> I smell. I smell. I smell. <laughs> I smell. <laughs> but I think that if you got all these people who are, you know, no hush hush money. Oh yeah. At the end of the day, it's like, yep, he did it. He did it. He did it. Yeah, because if you indict and you ain't got no money, but uh, you know, one of those cats got all the money, then it's like, like, what's going on? Yeah, and I, my thing is, I'm reading some more about it. Is they're not really necessarily accusing Young Thug of pulling the trigger, but yeah. being a part of part of it, whatever's going on. Right. So, I mean, I don't know. He's the one that gave the green light. Is what they're it, to say. Yeah, that's what they're saying. They said like he's the boss. And yeah. He's like, yo, do what you do. But, so that's that's very hard to prove. Yeah. I mean, they can't even get they they can barely even um, indict these uh, January six and rec- <laughs> insurrectionists, and they got them on tape. <laughs> they got them on tape, man. Hilarious. So I, I'm, I'm I'm hoping that these young guys, you know, will be able to get off and be able to. I mean, unless they're doing what they're doing. If they get, if it's like a bunch of stuff where it's like, ah, man, you yeah, really yeah. doing that? Yeah. And my- this is the thing that bothers me sometimes, but I guess it's just not taught. But a lot of these dudes have all this money and they're still a part of this yeah, culture. Yeah, yeah. You know, I don't know if they have to do it for clout or they just they don't know any any way out of it. But it's like, man. Well, just think about this. If you were growing, if you were now, this is for the real the dudes that are really in the streets. Because mm-hmm. a lot of these guys, like um, Rick Ross, he's he, he's not really from the streets. Right. He I don't know if you a, know he that. He used to be a PO or something. Yeah, like that. yeah. So he's not really from the streets like that. But. He put a persona up now, and and, and people rolling with it. But think about this: if you're really from the streets, mm-hmm. and you know the streets have been supporting you, and then you get put on, it's very hard to denounce that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And I'm not saying it's the right thing to do. It's a, it's a always a scary situation for me. I wouldn't personally. It would be tough, man, to mm-hmm. be a to be a rapper because yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I I'm not really from the streets, you yeah. know what I mean. And so putting up that person, you got to keep up with it. Had mm-hmm. the money, you got to have this, you got to talk well. And, and the labels are telling you, hey man, talk about this, talk about that. Yeah. You know, glorifying these certain things. So well, not even that. Some of these guys are independent, so a lot of true. these people are just. I can say and do whatever I want to do, and nobody right, right. Tell, nobody said, "Hey, my my guy," you know, right, 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 shouldn't right. be saying that, right, right, right. You know, but the one thing I do like is I've been hearing in the news 
that Jay Z and uh, Fat Joe and them are signing a petition. Okay. To where you don't get accused for oh, yeah, yeah. freedom of speech at the end of the day. Right, 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 right. So I'm ho- I'm hearing that they're doing that because I don't think that's fair. No, I don't fair. think it's fair either to pull lyrics because you can pull lyrics out on anybody. Everybody. Right. Like that's you know, country the music. They say once somebody said they shot their dog. <laughs> I <laughs> shot my dog <laughs> on Mafia <laughs> scene. <laughs> On the porch Yeah man I, I mean I hope that everybody I mean If they're gonna do that Everybody should be Across the board Oh yeah You gotta you be careful I mean? You gotta be careful you Gotta be careful What we saying Exactly Sorry about the dogs Right You putting your hands on people And you talking about Songs yeah. about it You gonna have to be I'm just saying Across the board If it's gonna be black It's gonna be white yeah. It ain't gonna be no just Right gray areas Yeah exactly right. So I'm hoping that they I'm hoping that it's not the, the case Right, right I'm right, hoping right. that they figure it out I mean, at the end of the day, sometimes money talks. and Money talks. And they got somebody for racketeering, too. Really? Yeah, they said he was racketeering. I think it was the third dude or something. Oh, somebody man. else, he said racketeering. So it's like, I mean, I think a lot of people get money and hide it. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I mean, you at don't have end, to be a rapper to do that. Like, yeah. you, like racketeering is like very prevalent in the business world. It's yeah. just that people, they can hide it depending on what kind of employment they have and stuff like yeah. that. You know, man, it's crazy. And I, you know, I'll play the dumb advocate. <laughs> I, I never knew what racketeering, what does racketeering to you mean? Or what is racketeering is actually taking money from somebody and mm. threatening them. Really? Yeah, it's a racketeering. So you, so wait a minute. So you back sell- in the days, you remember, you, you know, back. So back in the days, if you, if you, so what if I wanted to, if you were in like the mafia, mm-hmm. and I told all you businesses, y'all need to give me a percentage, mm. right? Oh, that's racketeering. That, racketeering. That, yeah, that's racketeering. Ah. I, I fell off on that. The word I was speaking on was um. What am I speaking on? The word, the one I'm speaking on is um, it's the other one. I want to say embezzling, embezzling money. Oh, so he, but embezzling. But racketeering is when you you say, hey, give me, I need ten percent. I need ten percent. So he was out here getting the Waffle Houses for five percent. <laughs> well, not just the Waffle House, but he could be getting like other guys. Like you guys need my protection. Mm. Give me ten percent of your money. But is but is it racketeer more of a threatening thing? Yeah, like, it is a threatening thing. Yeah, but okay. but le, but let me tell you the full. It says, so what what is racketeer? Racketeering is a type of criminal activity in which money is extorted from a victim by threat or force. Mm-hmm. So they're so, extorting. So they are so it's an extortion. So yeah, yeah. Okay. So it's basically and even. But I think the racketeering is for somebody that's in jail. Okay. Because they're telling him, "Give us money, and we'll give you protection in the inside." Oh, that happens a lot. Dang. Well, you heard it first. Jay's never been to prison, but he sure enough knows about what's going <laughs> down in the prison. Down in the prison. Hey, listen, like, share, subscribe. Let us know what you think about the young thug, and racketeering. <laughs> gonna, <laughs> racketeering and all them good stuff, man. Let us know if you don't agree or disagree. Like, share, subscribe. Let us know. Two ball brothers. We out here, man. Yeah. We, we we back we doing we things busy busy back man and listen sponsored by the black brew coffee <sighs> you, and listen you got to be this the commercial is smooth out all the commercials the commercials are smooth man like it's when i clippy clips yeah when i listen to it i'm like okay sophisticated <laughs> educated <laughs> educated the coffee of all coffees yeah. i was like okay man that's what we doing out here <laughs> and he up in there they just drink they acting like they just having a blast drinking that coffee yeah before, drinking right? that coffee no it is though i ain't gonna lie that when i drink it i get i get happy yeah, yeah. i haven't i haven't did it yet but Maybe we're gonna let's just let's get it, man. Yeah, it's like the first time for everything, 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 man. So, listen, we jumping right into uh, Nick Cannon. Nick Cannon, Nick Cannon, ain't he the king of raw and b raw and b? So, my thing, (laughs) how many kids does Nick Cannon have? Nick Cannon has eight, and how many baby mamas? Mm, I think six, seven, 1945. Dang, what did his child support look like? Man, heavy, massive, heavy. But I mean, he got it. You know, yeah. But, yeah. Shout out to Nick Cannon. We not, we listen. You doing your thing, man? man we, we love. I love Nick Cannon. Yeah, I can't yeah. wait to be on Wallin' Out, bro. That's like that's like uh, uh um, 
<sighs> man, it's like on my hope chest, bro. Okay. I want. I mean, I want to be a part of that wilding out experience, man. Yeah, but the, I guess people are talking about his new album because he is raw and B. It's not R and B, <laughs> but it's raw, raw and B. B. And we know what the raw. We stands know for. what the raw stands for because <laughs> Nick Cannon has been out here shooting the gun. <laughs> the gun. Pow, pow. pow pow ping ping pong pong. And he keeps reloading, man. The, you know one of the, <laughs> the one of the times I think he was having two babies almost at the same time. Yeah, man. I'm like. Nick, Nick, I know you want to have a lot of kids. Why don't you just pick one? Yeah. And just have a, tri- a whole tribe. Man, because he got a squadron. He got a squad. He got a point guard, Man. shooting guard, two forward. Be- two bench players, <laughs> a head coach, <laughs> assistant coach. Like, and a trainer. And yeah. a trainer, man. He out here doing his thing. And, you know, no knock. I mean, if it, I say this. If the women are cool with it, yeah. then, you They know. must be. I mean, think about it. A lot of women are, are appreciative to be with a celebrity, and we know what comes with it. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And they know they lane. They're like, okay, cool. Yeah, so listen, <laughs> here's some of the songs. Tell me, tell me, on, give me some. On of raw, well, we got to be G. Yeah, we got to be G. But yeah. one is A Player's Prayer. <laughs> a Player's Prayer. I pray that she ain't pregnant again. Right. God, dog, she pregnant again. <laughs> again. Golly. Uh, a Weekend Girl. Okay, so that's what he running them. <laughs> Saturday and Sunday. Right, Saturday and Sunday. We off on Monday. We off on Monday. Uh, uh, Provider. Oh, he did. That's his yeah, song. That's that's what he, I'm a provider, girl. I'm a provider. Yeah, my pimping. Oh yeah, you doing that yeah, too? Yeah, illegally though. Yeah, uh, something better. Fill in the blank. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Well, he, he, he's keeping woman after woman, so he's looking for something better. He's looking for something better, and then seven o'clock. <laughs> Oh, so <laughs> that's when he like that's when he gets his raw steam on. Raw steam. <laughs> the, the raw steam is when it goes down raw and beat at seven o'clock. Listen, Jay. I, my thing is like I said. I respect my man. At least he's taking care of his kids. You know, you could be a brother out here in these streets Yo, yeah. who's not taking care. Yeah, he lost one too, by the yeah, way. He did, yeah, he did, man. I heard, I heard about that. that. Was very sad because he was a young and yeah. uh, young young cat. Like so six that months, means, maybe. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, but like my thing is much respect. We talk about the negative a lot, but the positive is the dude is handling his oh, children. Yeah. You know, what I'm he's saying? got seventeen jobs. He got seventeen jobs. He's Jamaican, you know. Jamaican, I call you three times, and I call you about. Yeah, so that, that's the shout Three out to Nick times, being able you know? to take care of his kids, you know, because, you know, us regular dudes, not us, because, you know, JT is a good dad, and, you know, so, so am I. And uh, I think that, you know, some dudes are not taking care of their responsibilities, and at least he's there. You know, it shows oh, yeah. that, you know, I was wa- actually well, watching. Well, at least that's what the court order said. <laughs> I was actually watching an interview, though. He said he definitely makes time for his kids. He knows that he has all these jobs, but he makes sure he tries to bring everybody together, oh, that's dope. spend time with them, yeah. or that he has his own personal time with them, yeah, yeah, and yeah, spend yeah. time with them. So, I mean, shout out, man. He's doing shout his out thing. Shout out to Nick Cannon. Young I black met, brothers. I met Nick in, um, Vegas, true story. This is a while back. So okay. this is this, this is, is before be- kids. Oh, this is before. Um, I mean, my oldest. I just had my oldest at the time, and mm. this is in when when um, I don't know if you remember when the All Star Game came to mm-hmm. Vegas. Yep, I so remember. I, I, I took my son out there so he can do the uh, experience and all that. My son AJ, shout out to AJ, and uh, I literally met Nick Cannon. We rap, we we talked. He, he, I know he probably won't remember because he he's not the Nick Cannon that he was. Now. Oh yeah, he was young. Nick he was Cannon. just a young Nickelodeon Nick. Oh yeah, man. yeah, yeah. He was doing something for Nickelodeon and then he came out and me and my son got a chance to talk to him but we were really chopping it up but he was so he looked so tired and I was like you good he said yeah man I was, just, I was out partying you know, oh, like, yeah, like, all like, night <laughs> all night but now he can't do that no more because he got set oh no eight eight of them kids eight of he them just kids. had but uh, I just read an article that he's thinking about getting a vasectomy okay that, he's, thinking that, that. About, he's thinking about he's at the finish line and, okay. you know, cut the ribbon it's cut, gone right, 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 um, right. because people are saying that he's still on a lot of the infamil and the diapers <laughs> <laughs> and, all, and all that stuff all the formula you can't gone. blame one person for <laughs> still in the infamil and the and the diapers there's other people in the world that got plus he should kids cr- he should create his own Man. Called K- K- that, that, Cannon Famil, bro. That <laughs> that actually is a good. I I mean, shout out. He probably would do that. Right, right. He right. probably would create he his got own the diapers. Bread. I want to see how much. How much do you think his? How much do you think his network? Mm, let's is. look it up, man. You know, because it's not. It's not always accurate. Because they said my net worth was uh sixty thousand. Yeah, they said my net worth was a uh, ninety negative ninety ten. <laughs> I was like, "What?" You they said my net worth was twelve million. I said, "Man, liar!" It probably is. Well, I'm racketeering. Yes. Yeah. 
They said it's forty five million. See, and that the same's kind of low, mm-hmm. especially for all the stuff that he's doing. Because MTV, he basically well, I won't say he owned it because we just found out he don't own that. Dang, that that yeah. that was a big power move. But even hosting them shows, he's not like getting. Yeah, probably billions. He's probably, probably getting like, like a million yeah, or something, million or two million a show. Yeah, but still, no, you know, no, I don't think he's getting that much for a show. I mean, I mean per per, per show. season. Per no, show. I don't think he's getting a million per show. No, no, no. I'm not saying like I mean, per, per show. Oh, per, you mean per episode? No, no, no. So like, uh, it's like yeah, he's so, doing a one a show. Yeah, season. Yeah, two season. million. Yeah, a season. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I agree yeah, with that. Yeah, yeah. Think about it. Yeah, he's. Yeah, I don't think he's worth that much, and he's probably not. He's probably making some side money that we don't know about. Yeah, for sure. I mean, he ain't putting that on the document, but only forty five. I million. thought more too. I man, thought more. I'm just gonna still try to hit the lottery because this is ridiculous. This, hey, <laughs> but he's doing his thing, man. Shout out to Nick Cannon taking Nick care Cannon. of his kids. Raw and B. Nick you Cannon, go get it. I think it's coming out. Uh, actually, it's coming out soon. It's I don't. I, 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 have you 20th. heard? Have you heard anything of Nick Cannon? It came out already then. No, today's the 18th. Oh, today's the 18th. So yeah. Friday, Raw and B is going to be a lot of. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna peep it out. We're gonna do a review on it. We should yeah. actually, yeah. Maybe next time we just Raw and B. We do a review of uh, Raw and B, oh, and yeah. we listen to some of the tracks and we talk about them. And then we also, uh, I don't know. I, I'm kind of skeptical about what it's going to be like. If it's going to be rap, is it going to be him singing auto tune? I just I mean, pray got, to God he has a lot of features. He does. He has Chris. Oh yeah, I can read you the features. Oh, he has Chris, Chris Breezy. Breezy. He got Chris Breezy. I can't do a whole record of him. He got K Michelle. Okay. He got uh, Jacquees. Jacquees. Yeah. He got Rick Ross. Huh. He got. Uh, I don't know who that is. He got Ty Dolla Sign. Cheesy Dolla Sign. And he got Brandy. Oh yeah, 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 Brandy. You saw Jack Harlow. He didn't even know Brandy and Ray J were. Uh, I mean, brothers. but come on, man. He, he charge it to the game. He, my brother is. He's from Kentucky. He, you know, he's white. <laughs> but you gotta dig a little deeper, though. I mean, but he just. You don't know about the tape, like, come on, bro. Like, but I guess he's new to the game too. I mean, I, I, I can't knock Jack too. I, I don't even care. But I'm just saying he can do better. Yeah. I mean, come on, do a little research. I mean, if you don't know Brandy and Ray J. You ain't really paying Brandy attention. Brandy actually came for him, so I mean, but that's that's here. No, no, yeah, yeah. she you know she can't come for him. He's just a no. young. He's a young, but he was born in 1998. Yeah, so I mean, you still got to do your research. Just because I was born in that, t- but you still got to know who Jerry West is. If you were a basketball player, if I just came out and said, "Do you know who Jerry West is?" and somebody would, that played basketball, they would be like, "No." I'm like, "We well, got to know the history." Of basketball. Yeah, true. Some people don't do the history, man. They just yeah. want to be in the game. So listen, like, share, subscribe. Hey, real quick, know. man, before yeah, we go, yeah, 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 yeah. Little, little, little JT want to say bye. Little to J Tizzle, he, he wanted to come on the podcast today. I don't think people can see, you, so you got to get real, got to get up so they can see. You. Yeah, the light skin wonder of the world. There come he on, is, come man. On, come on. Come on. And show and show him your gold, show him your gold teeth too. Show him your gold teeth. Yeah, he lost his. He Yo, lost his teeth. he lost a little teeth. All right, what you want to tell the people? You can tell them whatever you want to tell them. Bye. I'll see you the next episode of the Ball Brothers. Yeah, two oh, Ball Brothers. Two Ball Brothers. He about to take our job, man. man. He did that kind of yeah. good. No next, rehearsal. Next one at the Two Ball Brothers. <laughs> Let them know who you are, man. Did you tell, tell them who tell you who you are? Did you tell them your name? My name is Josiah Turner. Josiah Turner. Turner. But what they, they call you? Yeah, what they call you? JT. Yo. Lil JT. Lil JT. Little JT. Hey, let me interview you real quick. Can I interview you real yeah, quick? Yeah, go ahead, Lil JT. JT, so listen, tell me, what's your favorite sport? My favorite sport is baseball, football, and basketball. Oh, man, he's about to be a triple threat, huh? Who's your favorite player? Do you have a favorite player? No. No? No favorite player? No Steph Curry. No LeBron. No. No Michael Jordan. No. <sighs> well, he's still young. He's still young because you know, sooner or sooner or later, you'll have a favorite player. All right, last thing. What's your favorite number? What's your number for sport? What's your favorite number? Twenty-four. Twenty. Why twenty-four? Huh? Why the number twenty-four? Because my dad used to play that number in football, and he used to do his lottery number too. Twenty-four, sixteen, twenty-four, nineteen. <laughs> Well, listen, this is Young JT, Two Ball Brothers, man, our special yeah, guest today. Hey, y'all better check him out, man. He's going to be the future, man. He's the future. He's already catching balls in the in the playgrounds, already one hand, OBJ out here, man. So listen, Two Ball Brothers, like, share, subscribe. Let us know what you think. What's the best podcast of all podcasts? Let's do it. Perfect.